Well, thank you for joining me. My name is Lieutenant Christopher Lasitra. I'm the heavy maintenance officer and twin otter pilot. Right now, we're in the light aircraft hangar, and right behind me is the scientific equipment that we are going to use for our 2024 snow survey mission. This box has crystals in it that can measure naturally occurring background radiation within the first eight inches of the terrestrial soil. So during the course of the year, we're flying a couple hundred survey lines up to 1,900 established snow survey lines. And we're measuring during dry seasons to get background levels and during wet seasons like snow, ice, rain, or anything between, this box can measure the background radiation and take the difference between the layer with the moisture and without. And that difference gives us the value that we're looking for, snow water equivalent, or SWE. Typically, we survey about 29 states, pretty much anywhere that it gets cold enough for snow or ice to be formed. Operationally, when we're called upon for a mission, we're usually called to a region after a snow event or after a high water event and we notify the local aviation authority in that area, letting them know that we're headed that way and we're gonna do a low level survey. Then two pilots pack up into the aircraft, head to that region, and we find that flight line drop down to 500 feet above ground level. Let that sink in there, <laughs> 500 feet. It's a lot of fun, but it uh, takes a lot of skill and practice from the air crew. No worries though, this aircraft can definitely handle it. Our motto within the Twin Otter community is low and slow and good to go. So what that means is that this aircraft is designed, for the most part anyway, to fly low, fly slow, and collect data. So once we're established on this line at 500 feet above the ground, we start the survey equipment, we start collecting the data, and these lines can go anywhere from a mile to 10 miles long. Then we do all the lines that we can for that day, and then we land, process that data, and we send that off to the center. The National Weather Service pushes out data to the public, as well as pushes out data in anticipation of flood forecasts, spring flooding outlooks, and water supply outlooks as well. So if the snow survey program were not to exist, we'd lose data points. The more data points you have, the more accurate a forecast can be. To hopefully again, save lives and property. 